video I made today about uh, kind of instructional video about how I have finally figured out how to apply CA finish to a pen. I have this pen here. It is um, eucalyptus burl, the cigar pen. It's got the uh, black titanium hardware, and I hope you can see how nice that uh, that wood looks. I turned this pen months ago before we moved into the new house and it's been sitting in a box without any finish on it because I was having a very hard time at the time that I turned it with getting a CA finish to come out well and I struggled with it and over this past weekend I made a couple videos showing the process that I had been going through and how it was failing and then finally coming uh, to a process that worked very well for me. This video is a demonstration of that process with an explanation of what I'm doing and how I'm doing it step by step. Um, I go from the turned pen that is already sanded, I put it on the mandrel, apply the finish, start, start the finish, um, I sand out the finish and buff it to uh, the high, high shine. I use micro mesh uh, sanding pads. I use um, the Perfect Pen Polish or Perfect Plastic Polish by Hut to get the final polish on it. And then off camera I assembled it and, and this is the finished product. I made another video this past weekend that I just released about how to assemble a pen. Uh, so I did not show that process again. So you are going to see the finishing from basically from start to finish from a, a turned pen that has been sanded uh, straight up to um, two pen blanks that are ready for assembly. And they end up being this, this pen which I am absolutely uh, in love with the way it looks. So it's a, it's a gorgeous um, burl, it's eucalyptus, it smelled awesome sanding it and, and turning it. Uh, it was a little bit sketchy piece of wood, it was all twisted and warped and, and kind of nasty looking but I cut it to dimension and turned it and it's been stable since I got it on the pen tube. So I'm very happy with the way this pen turned out. I'm very happy with the process that I document here and I really hope that this video helps some of you guys out there uh, learn how to apply a CA finish and be safe about it. Um, Please enjoy this video and I'll welcome any comments or feedback that you have and uh, I look forward to hearing from some of you. Thanks everybody. So first we're going to put the pen onto the mandrel in the same manner with which we turned it. Now go to lathe. All right, we have our pen back on the mandrel. We've uh, got our lathe all set. So let's see how we go about doing a uh, CA finish. Try to get that centered a little bit better. Okay, there we go. Protect the lathe bed. Okay, so for this process, I put out some videos about my uh, several attempts, my failing, and this is the process that, that I came to that works the best. So we're going to use uh, tight bond thin, we're going to use some little scraps of little squares, rectangles of paper towel. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to turn the lathe on, we're going to take the tight bond and drip three drops in the middle of the paper towel, hold it like so, and wipe it 
all the way across the entire blank. And then we'll take a new paper towel, three drops on it, and wipe back the other direction. Now, during my trials before, I, uh, I tried a couple different things, and I tried with accelerator and without accelerator, and it seemed to work just as well without accelerator as it did with accelerator. So we're going to uh, kind of show both methods here, and, and hopefully we'll have some good success, and this will be uh, an instructional video that will will help some of you guys out. So first things first, always wear a respirator. This stuff is, is not good stuff to breathe in. Um, the fumes are, are quite uh, quite dangerous. They um, they can cause respiratory uh, issues. Um, they can seriously irritate your your sinuses and your throat and, and make it difficult to breathe. So it's not worth the risk. Wear a respirator. Secondly, for safety, get yourself a mask. Um, eye protection is a must when working with a lathe, obviously, but. Uh, uh, Simple safety glasses protect your eyes well enough, but they don't protect the rest of your face. And this is, you know, CA glue. It's, it's glue, it's super glue. It bonds instantly to everything it, it hits, especially skin. Uh, you don't want to get it on your face. We don't want to get in your hair. Um, it's not worth the risk. The mask is cheap. Uh, it's also good protection against things flying off the lathe and, and hitting you in the face. So go ahead and, and get yourself a mask. So I'm going to put my, uh, my respirator on, put my mask on, and return the lathe on and, and uh, get to work here. So it's still a little bit tacky. We're gonna turn the lathe back on and hit it with some accelerator. This side is definitely smoother than this side, so looks like as I'm swiping across there, it's getting tacky by the end. Um, and this side's flowing better. That is two, three, four, five, six, seven coats. That is seven coats. It is dry to the touch. It's a little rough. I think I'm gonna put a couple more coats on. They're going on so quickly. And then uh, we'll break into the sanding and buffing process. This method does not produce a super super shiny um, coat, a very smooth coating of it 
of CA on the first pass. Now, um, I have found that it's really simple though to buff this out with some micro mesh and get a, a mirror finish. So I'll go through that process as well. That's seven coats. I'm going to put another five on. Um, I think that'll give us 12. That should be a good, good thick finish. So move the respirator back on, the mask back on, and uh, we'll get to it. It's been really tempting for me at least to go back and forth a few times with a single piece and kind of spread it around and I don't uh, haven't had a whole lot of luck doing that so I try really hard just take a one pass and stop so that's 12 coats that went on really fast um, I don't I don't haven't found another process that works that efficiently for getting getting coverage just cleaning the glue bottle up here a little bit with a piece of paper towel that's sticking to me. So I'm gonna cap off my glue. I'm gonna prep my uh, micro mesh while this is, uh, give us a little bit of time to cure, although I think it's pretty well set. I'm gonna get my micro mesh ready and we will be right back. Okay, I am back. Um, here's my my preferred way to do the wet the sanding here is I do a wet sand. It's like a little, little pail of water, a couple of drops of uh, laundry detergent in there. I like the soap. I think it helps keep the the pads clean and and running smoothly and lubricates a little bit better. Um, keeps the finish cool as you're sanding. That's the way I prefer it anyway. Now I do use uh, slightly warm tepid, a little bit warm water, just because um, I don't want my hands to be cold while I'm doing this. Uh, it's a personal preference. I don't think it makes a difference. Um, so now it's just a matter of running up the. Uh, Running up through the, the steps, I've got a little cheat sheet up here on the wall with the steps in it, so I don't have to have them all memorized. I just follow along. I've got a pad of uh, paper towel here. Um, it's really a really good idea to wipe in between coats. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of trouble when I skip wiping. I usually tend to wipe at least every third, uh, every third grit. But I haven't had a whole lot of trouble just going, uh, going all the way to it without wiping. Now, I'm going to try to wipe every grit this time just to show you the process the way it should be. I mean, you shouldn't be taking, shouldn't be cutting corners when you're just learning how to do it. Find out what works for you and, and go with it. So, I'm going to skip the respirator here so I can talk while I'm doing this. Um, this is not really because it's a wet sanding process. It's more of a slurry coming off of here than... Uh, than dust even, so I, I'm not too worried about breathing anything in. So I'm gonna leave the lathe. Uh, by the way, my lathe is set at, I believe, double check, yep. It's set at uh, the the second uh, belt setting, which on this lathe is 1270 RPMs, 1270 RPMs. So let's get to it. We're gonna start off with uh, rust. Uh, the key to this first step, the fir very first grit, is we're looking to smooth the surface out. 
and I kind of hear it. It's getting smooth. Okay, so what we're looking for here is a dull finish, a dull, no, no shine anywhere. And I've got a few spots where there's still some ridges. You can tell the ridges because they're shiny. The low spots where the sandpaper hasn't touched yet is shiny. The high spots where the the sandpapers uh, going over it are are rough. They're they're sanded to, to 1500 now, uh, 1500 grit. So they're not shiny anymore. But the the low spots where the CA has dried on its own is still shiny. So you can tell when you've got a smooth surface because it'll all be uniform and dull. So we're getting there. Um, this is a burl, so there's gonna be a few spots I imagine that are, are actually gonna have little uh, indentions in the wood, and probably we won't get all the we won't get them perfectly smooth. But um, we're gonna go a little more. I'm not pushing really hard. I'm just kind of holding it there and letting the the lathe and the paper do all the work. Lathe in the sanding pad do all the work. I'm not pushing hard. We're not trying to force this. We're not trying to make this go faster. It'll, it'll be done when it's done. Because at the end of the day, we also don't want to sand through the finish. If we sand through the finish, we have to start over. So the low spots that I still see are really in the wood, the grain themselves. So I think a uh, little bit more, just a to touch more, especially on this side. And then we're going to go start working our way up to polish it. Okay, so I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and start running up the grits now. So the next one is green, which is 1800 grit. Spend a little more time on this one than I will on the higher simply because I spent so long with the 1500. I want to make sure to uh, get out any of those 1500 grit scratches before I move on. Moving on to uh, black, which is 2400 grit. Then we're going to hit tan, which is 3200 grit. I do appreciate the fact that the black and tan are together. Hit wine or brown, which is 3600 grit. Then we're going to hit teal. Teal is 4000 grit. I don't know if you can hear the difference, but it's very much 
changed in sound as I move up these grits. This is so smooth that it's really not making any noise at all. The sanding is. Now purple, which is 6,000. It's providing almost no resistance. I can't really even feel that. Let's hit the 12,000 grit. This is the one that really, really brings out that shine. Let's see what we got. Oh, that, that is a nice shine on that, yeah. Now, that is nice. Yeah, very nice. Now as a final step, what I like to do is, is uh, hit this with a little bit of uh, Hut Ultra Gloss Plastic Polish. This is after all an acrylic finish now, it's plastic. This works very well to uh, put a final buff on it and, and really bring out a, a, a High, slightly higher shine than even this has now. So this is a simple process. You just kind of squirt some uh, some of the polish onto your rag and you wipe it on. I got way too much here, but that's okay. This is an abrasive. You don't want to push too hard. We're polishing. We're not trying to uh, not trying to remove the finish or anything. Trying to generate any kind of heat here. This is not a heat cure or a, a friction polish. This is a an abrasive polish that works the scratches out of the the surface. So bear that in mind. You don't want to generate a lot of friction or a lot of heat. You're just trying to let it do its work. So I can tell while this is running that this is very shiny. You know? That has very much improved the shine of the uh, of the pen. So, yeah, that's that's it. That's the entire process. We'll have to look at, back at the video and see how long it took. But aside from going to fetch the uh, the pail of water and finding my my missing grit, um, there shouldn't be any cuts in this. You should see this start to finish uh, all the way through, and that is a very very uh, nice looking finish so thanks for watching everybody